from amazing feats of architecture to outright dangerous. Stay tuned to number one to find out the most unique bridges in the world. Number 10. Ott's Bridge I could have easily called this bridge by its other name, the Devil's Bridge, but honestly, this bridge is a bit too beautiful to be called that. You will find this bridge in Germany, and it looks like something that was made for a fantasy movie given how it curves into the air. But no, this was a simple bridge that was made for us regular humans. Kromlauer Park in Kromlau houses this bridge and it's actually made entirely out of basalt, which is a popular building material in the area, which covers about 200 square acres. What's ironic about this bridge though is that it's actually closed to the public now. Why is that? Well, it's because it was made back in 1860 and so it's been around for over 150 years, and thus they don't want people to accidentally ruin it, which is very understandable. What might be the most unique thing about this bridge though is that if you look at it via its reflection in the water, you will see that the bridge and its reflection merge to make a perfect circle. Number 9. Vitim River Bridge, Russia Just because a bridge is unique doesn't mean that it isn't dangerous, for a unique form can cause people a lot of pain if not crossed carefully. To that end, the Vitim River Bridge is one of the most unique and dangerous bridges in the world today. This bridge in Russia was built to help people cross the Vidim River, just one problem. Its location on the river ensured that the place was cold. Very cold. So the bridge and everything around it froze. Now ice on a bridge isn't a problem for certain bridges, but it most certainly is for this one. For you see, the construction of it did not include handrails or supports, so there's nothing to grab onto or crash into to keep you on the bridge. Due to this, if you slip on this bridge, you're very likely to fall right off of it and into the freezing river below, which in the extreme temperature of Russia rarely has a good outcome. You might be thinking that this bridge is a ghost story of sorts, and that I'm trying to keep you away from it, but here are the facts. Many people have tried to cross the bridge, very few have survived intact, and many more didn't survive at all. Number 8. Crab Bridges Before we talk about this amazing feat of nature, Take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by using the buttons below. When you think of a bridge, your mind often goes to massive constructions that were built for the purposes of getting people and vehicles across certain areas. But that's not always the case, as sometimes it's the animals of nature that need our help and a bridge is what they need to get to where they need to go. And that's why the crab bridges of Christmas Island are so important and unique. This island is a part of Australia, and the bridge's function is quite literal. You see, the forests of the island have crabs in them, but not small numbers like you might be picturing. There are, in fact, millions of red crabs here, and they like to go at times from the forest to the nearby oceans to migrate. One problem though, humans also live on this island, and due to that there are roads that cut right through the most direct paths. So the locals decided to help out by building these very tall bridges for the crabs so that they can go up and over the roads without fear of hurting themselves. You might think that this is a bit ambitious and that the crabs might not be able to climb it, but crabs have been known to climb trees. And as you can see here, they're clearly not struggling that much to get over the hump. Another thing to note is that there are several of these bridges on Christmas Island, ensuring that no one bridge is harboring millions of crabs. Number 7. Lucky Knot Bridge Let's head to China for a very unique bridge, and unlike some bridges that are unique in terms of function, this one is very unique in terms of shape. For in fact, the Lucky Knot Bridge is actually three different bridges side by side. Each one though has a different curve in it. These three foot paths as they are called were inspired by the ancient art of knotting, thus why they're all unique and slope in different ways. The looping pattern is rather interesting to think about and if it wasn't made of solid steel, you might think twice about getting onto it, yet it's completely safe. What's more, the bridges are built as a connector between two parks and add to the ambience of the area if you will. It'd be a very interesting walk for sure, for you could choose the more balanced up and down path or the one that slopes up highly and then drops back down. In this case, walking from one park to another is just as much of an adventure as going to the parks themselves. Number 6. The Helix Bridge 
Heading over to Singapore now, let's look at another bridge that has a very interesting design to its construction, the Helix Bridge. As its name suggests, it has a helix built into it. Actually, it has two. This double helix design is meant to mimic the DNA of the human body, and you can't deny that it looks rather interesting both up close and from afar. This bridge was built for pedestrians near Singapore River and connects Marina Center with Marina South in the Marina Bay. While it may be hard to tell at points, the Helix Bridge is much more than just a beautifully designed construct. For while you are meant to walk across it, there are plenty of places to sit and relax throughout it. What's more, they made it so there are a couple of viewing areas that will let you see breathtaking views of Singapore and the bays. The beauty and elegance of the Helix Bridge helps it to stand out in the best way, and its design is so unique that it's the first in the world of its kind. Number 5. Chapel Bridge Given how long bridges have been made, it shouldn't be surprising that some of them not only date back pretty far, but have an important meaning to the locals of the area such as the chapel bridge that is up in Lucerne, Switzerland. This bridge was built all the way back in 1333 and is considered the oldest wood-covered bridge in the world today. But the Swiss went far beyond the call with this bridge, for not only does it span the Rus River, it also had paintings inside of it that depicted the local area's history in a beautiful display. However, a fire broke out once and nearly burned the entire bridge down. Two-thirds of it was destroyed and only 25 paintings could be saved. However, the bridge was rebuilt less than a year later and it remains up to this day. Number 4. Aola Island Bridge Bar Let's be honest here, why just build a bridge when you can build a bridge that does even more? And while many would take that opportunity to make bridges that have big scenic views or photo opportunities, the Aola Island Bridge Bar in Austria decided to make a bar out of their bridge. Oh, but they didn't stop there though. They also included a sunbathing area, a coffee bar, an open air theater, and a children's play area, all of which is right there in the middle of the bridge. Now, if you're curious how all of this works, it's honestly because the bridge in question crosses the Muir River in such a way that it allows amenities to be possible. This is also one of the more recent bridges on this list being built in 2003. The New York based designer made sure that the bridge not only felt unique with what was offered inside, but was also unique in its design and layout. Number 3. Circular Laguna Garçon Bridge Sometimes a bridge needs to be made out of necessity, and that's exactly what the people of Uruguay did with a crossing that had to be built long ago across the Laguna Garçon wasn't allowing enough cars through to meet the demand. At the time, it would only allow two cars at a time, which obviously is not a lot, so they upgraded and made the Circular Laguna Garçon Bridge. It's unique because of how circular it is, and it stands out when you look at it from above. But most importantly, it functions like it should, and this new bridge can hold a thousand cars. And because of the shape, they are forced to drive slower, which ensures safety. Win-win. Number 2. Husseini Hanging Bridge, Pakistan Ah, you thought we were done with the uniquely dangerous bridges, huh? Sorry, no such luck. Let me introduce you to the Husseini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan a bridge that has the dubious honor of being called the world's most dangerous bridge. And it's not hard to see why. Let's start with the bare minimum, the visuals. This bridge looks like something from the ancient days of bridge making, and I don't mean that as a compliment. For unlike a truly sturdy bridge, this hanging bridge has the most basic wood logs to serve as footholds. They're not even all the same size. It literally looks like someone made the bridge in the least amount of time and for the lowest budget possible. This isn't even mentioning the ropes on the walkway. The horizontal ones seem somewhat strong, but the vertical ones, they're loose. Which you definitely don't want because that makes the place very flimsy. And the Husani Hanging Bridge has this going down the whole bridge. Walking across this bridge without a doubt is one of the most harrowing experiences you would have simply because every single step would be a risk to your life. If you go to the Borat Lake in Pakistan, do yourself a favor. Don't cross the bridge. It may be the last thing you do. Number 1. The Living Roots Bridge You've seen bridges made of all kinds of materials, but have you ever seen one made out of tree roots? And not just roots cut out of a tree, oh no, ones made from a living tree. That's exactly what the Warkosi tribe in India did. They made it so the roots of the local ficus trees would grow in a certain pattern and in certain directions 
and that's pretty epic given this wasn't done with modern technology. These bridges can handle dozens of people and stretch over a hundred feet. The only real catch is that unlike modern bridges, these living roots bridges take over 10 to 15 years to be strong enough to walk on. But given the look and construction, or lack thereof, there's no doubt that this is one of, if not the, most unique bridge in the world. What's your favorite bridge? Let us know in the comments below and take care.